there a big picture that Jesus is bringing about with his red letters? Yes, there's one theme that's all the way through the Gospels. You don't get it as heavily. It's only periodically set forth in the epistles. But in the Gospels, it's all about the kingdom of God, which is a new social order. Dress it up any way you want. The first rule of interpretation of scripture is what did it mean to the people who originally heard the words of the scripture? What did the Jewish audience understand from Jesus when he said, I have come to declare that the kingdom of God is at hand. Mm. The kingdom of God is at hand. I know what was going through their mind. They were referring back to their concept of the kingdom as set forth by the prophets. Like Isaiah in the 65th chapter of Isaiah. Uh, in, in that chapter, starting at the 17th verse, he says, this is what the kingdom of God is like. No more will children die in infancy. Children will be fed. Old people will live out their lives in health and well-being. So that the man that dies at 100 will be considered having died too young. Everyone will have a decent house to live in. No one will be homeless. It, it says everybody will have a good job and, and everybody will get fair pay for their labors, uh, not somebody else. In other words, you won't have a sweatshop in Thailand producing Nike sneakers that we can buy at a bargain at Walmart while those workers get paid two or three dollars a day. No more. People will get fair pay for their labors. Uh, the environment, it says, neither shall they hurt the earth anymore. In terms of theological doctrine, there's not much doctrine there. There is a description of a new kind of world that God wants to create. Mm. And when he teaches his disciples to pray, he says, pray, thy kingdom come, thy will be done where? On earth. On earth. Please get that emphasis, on earth. Mm. I mean, when I was growing up, it was never that. In my Baptist church, I can remember this evangelist coming, and I'm sitting on a second row, and I know he looked straight at me and he said, are you ready to die? I'm 12 years old. <laughs> it's not about dying. Jesus is not so much about getting people ready for the next world as he is, equipping people to live in this world according to the will of God. Mm. All of his parables are about the kingdom, about this new social order that he wants to create. Jesus came to start a revolution mm. that would end poverty, oppression, discrimination, thy kingdom come on earth. And in case you think I'm minimizing this, go to the book of Acts. And just before he leaves the earth to ascend into heaven, it says this, and he taught his disciples again the things concerning the kingdom. Mm -hmm. In short, in case you didn't get it, guys, this is what it's about. It's about the kingdom. Jesus is coming back. And that great good world where there is no war, where there is no poverty, where there is no disease, where there is no oppression, that wonderful kingdom will be fully actualized when he returns. Between now and that day when he returns, we are to work for these things. The purpose of evangelism is not getting people ready for the next world. It's recruiting people to do the work of God here in this world, recruiting people to take over this world and work towards transforming it into the kingdom. And when he returns, what remains uncompleted, and most of it will be, he will complete. That's what the second coming is about.